Welcome back to Bathologic 2. Last episode, we rescued a baby. Babies do actually exist in this game, I had no idea. And had a weird encounter with Anna, just staring at the baby. Had the guts to go in an infected house, but not the guts to pick up a baby. Quite strange. Anyway, 7.40 in the morning on day 5, so this day officially has just started. Need to go to the theater, we need to pick up our reward over here, we need to turn in the baby also over there. The bull is going to walk the street today, so I need to do that. Need to brew more things back at home. Mm. Oh, apparently I can still speak with Sawbop at the Uderg. I don't feel any great need to, but perhaps even if I know what the Uderg is, maybe Artemy needs to know more about the Uderg, so I'm, I might do that. I guess when I go home it's pretty close anyway. But for now, we're at Capella's place. Let's wrap up the whole piano playing in Random Houses quest. There's a peculiar smell outside. What is it? Why do you stare at me like that? Okay, so last time I did this, I told Capella the truth. That it was just people playing the piano, it wasn't her mother. I'm curious what would happen if I lied. It wasn't a person. How did you know? Well, actually, this isn't quite a lie, really. The musician was possessed. They were all possessed. Well, except maybe Clara. So it was Mother. So she is still here. So there is still hope. I wonder if that changes Capella's whole outlook on everything. I wonder what that does. You don't look relieved. Now Capella knows that there's still hope. Perhaps her mother Victoria still lives. In a way. There was no murderer, was there? Will you protect all of us? The people on your father's list? I think they're the most vulnerable. Especially Murky. I'm worried about her. What about Murky? Murky gets hunches. She's almost a feral child, improperly raised. But she senses things, knows everything from somewhere. Perhaps the Earth tells her. Perhaps that's her gift, understanding its words. She knows everything? Like what? Do you know why she followed you? How she knows you're Isidore's son? Yeah, why did she follow me? I wondered. Five years ago, your father, Isidore Burrah, made a grim decision. The outbreak was impeded, but many died. And Murky's family lived in the crude sprawl, didn't they? Do you now understand? She must hate me. No, but she feels you're connected. Her heart is kind. She doesn't blame you for your father's deeds. And she doesn't remember her parents, because she was very small when it happened. But their absence pains her. She's a sweet girl. I think you've bound us. Guests are always welcome here. Why do you live here and not the tower across the river? The tower of orphans? It's not for me. I hate it. Wait, I don't remember having this conversation before. The tower across the river, the tower of orphans, what is that? So that's what you call it? It separates children from their parents, breaks families, tears connections. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. The Tower of Orphans, they're talking about the polyhedron, of course. I don't know why that didn't occur to me. That is an interesting way to refer to a Tower of Orphans. I mean, just look at what happened with Han and Simon Kine. Not Simon, Victor Kine. It definitely does make them basically orphans. When connections are torn, life cannot thrive. Does a leg thrive with cut veins? Do mushrooms thrive when torn from mycelium? I know. This is the step teaching of the lines. Perhaps what I mean is that tower is about tearing things apart. That's what the kinds built it for. They believe fractures are good for the soul. 
I think otherwise. That tower is the root of many evils. Such as? No one knows what goes on there. I can hear the tune of the rat catcher, his vibrations calling, luring, but I don't know what he desires. You know surely the initiative to collect infants came from the polyhedron, that they won't let in adults? Why won't they let in adults? They just don't. See, this is how the tower works. Everyone just knows the adults aren't allowed. No one questions it. No one even bothers to gossip about it. That's the way things are and everyone accepts it. And then, when their children are torn away from them, they shed tears. Sounds odd. Yeah, I wonder why we got that conversation now and I don't think we got it last time. That was an interesting conversation. I do wonder if it's ever possible to get inside of the polyhedron. Maybe. Maybe if I'm really good in the game, the caches, maybe they will. Whoa! Uh, like three bad people just came out of the woodworks and they're punching somebody, an NPC. I think it's three against one. I don't know if I should help or just run. Oh no. Weapon broke, attack ineffective. Nope. Go, go, go. Holy shit, what did I just go inside of? Wow, that went bad real fast. I didn't know my knife was just about to break. Where am I? Clothes store? Oh, but my trust is too low here to trade, so there's no point in even trying to do anything. Well, that hurt. Hold on, there's loot here? Wait a minute. This whole place isn't a closed door, is it? I think just part of it? Maybe? So maybe right now I'm just looting a, you know, looter house. There might be enemies in here then. Well. I might as well do some looting while I'm here. Uh, some things I'm gonna drop, I don't have much space. Uh, let's eat a Kaushik. That just generated a empty bottle that I can't even store anywhere. <laughs> uh, I really need to do some trading and get rid of this baby. This baby's three by two. Baby big. There I'm not. Bye. Oh yeah, those are the three dudes over there. But there's no dudes this way. Let's turn in a baby. We also have the fun reward, although I surely can't fit a lot of it in. You're a hero, you know that? How did you find it? Is it healthy? It wasn't me who found him. It was that circus performer. I'm just making the delivery. Anna Angel? Going outside, today of all days? That seems unlikely. She has a fit every time people mention dirt around her. It must have been someone else. Must have been someone else. I mean... I don't know, could it have been the changeling? Can the changeling look like other people? Anyway. It was her. She's braver than she looks. Press E to give the baby. Ooh, that massively increased my reputation. And they gave me some amount of money. I'm not sure how much. Oh, in the gut. People, uh, I'm not unwelcome there anymore. No one cares about me, which means I can trade. Respected respected in a couple places over here. Respect, respected in the crude sprawl. 
Yeah, I'm respected actually in quite a few places. Cool. What did you do with the baby, by the way? There's three cribs here and I don't see no baby. Oh man, that's beautiful. Okay, that will stack. Uh, I might actually be able to fit all of this. Maybe. Is there some stuff I can ditch? Ate a little something, move some stuff around, and now I have enough room? Oh, and I dropped a candle. Yeah, candle stub can stay there, it's fine. So that's it for here. Yep. Man, I have so much food. And I have no hunger right now. And I have all this food in my inventory. Toast, fish, canned food, two smoked meats, pemmican. And I have a whole drawer full of food at home. Man, that's satisfying. Hey, is that a person who definitely didn't actually kill my father in jail? Hey, what's up? I'm dying. What's wrong with you? The sand plague. Keep your distance. And don't blame yourself. Just find your father's serial killer and I can die peacefully. I will. How sad. Someone who didn't actually kill my father, arrested for killing my father, and then they die of the sand plague, locked up in jail. What a shitty end to your life. Now oh, this is the conversation we have with someone that tells us about the bull going through the hindquarters. Considering I'm low on health, and I keep drinking Metrol Pluses, which keeps lowering my exhaustion, and I really don't want to die, and I have a ton of water, I'm actually going to trade with this person to get a tourniquet. It's not going to do much. But it's something. Just came up here because I wanted to check on Lara, take the boat back home to dump some stuff, sell some of the things I have in my inventory at these places. And, well, there's somebody on the ground that needs medicine, and that gave me a, the idea that perhaps I should use this? I need to test it on someone. Well, I need to get my sand pest fund up to max anyway, so I think I probably do want to treat them. Um... Yeah, all right. I could just give it to them and not use a tincture. No. No, let's use a tincture. It's fine. So it must be bone. So then this antibiotic would not work. Fund went up. So, are there going to be people inside of Lara's place, since they have the refuge going on in here? I see Lara. I don't see anyone else. They could be upstairs, I guess. Didn't I leave lockpicks here? Yeah. Not that I have room for them. But worth keeping in mind. I don't think that bed was there before. It looks like they're just, like, setting up the place. Oh, I can't even talk with them yet. Anyway, you will be okay, Laura. Don't you worry. There might be new food here. Okay, no. Clemency is born not from virtue. I'm also curious if they have anything going on upstairs. Yeah, they got beds out here. It's cool that they went into that detail where you can see them partially setting up the place, but not quite running yet. Anything in here? No, of course there isn't. Visiting the clothes store here. Want to sell some stuff I have? Hello? Pocket watch, 1440. Nice. Oh, that's already almost all our money. Toolkit. That would be good to get. To upgrade the Olympic. Plus the bracelet. Yeah, excellent. I'll still be getting almost all of their money. Anything else? Safety pins. I have a couple. Let's get a couple more. I have a lot of money. Let's get a couple red threads as well. I want to be able to fix up my stuff really well. 
How is my stuff doing? Leather gloves. Ooh, and the boots are really beat to shit. And my gauze mask, everything is beat to shit. I don't think I want to buy a normal cloak. But I do have the stuff back at home to upgrade my inventory again if I get one... Whatever the next cloak is, repellent cloak or something. If I get that, I should have everything I need to upgrade my inventory again. Because I already have the two sewing boxes. Do I want more needles? No, they're not worth it. Oh, I also have a charm. Uh, yeah, let's sell that. And we have enough space for this. I'm about to head home, I'm just heading over to this boat, but I just saw one of the people that throw Molotov cocktails kill an infected person, and I actually need more of their organs. Uh, both just to make painkillers in general, or wait, no, uh, antibiotics in general. But also because I realized that I didn't actually get every infected organ. I, I think, like, I think I took all the organs from an infected person, but I think all the organs inside of them weren't all infected. So I'm actually missing, I think, one. Yeah, I think it's one of the lower two, one of the two easier ones that I'm missing. Maybe liver. So... Let's do it. People will know, but I'm respected here, so uh, I think I'm comfortable doing that. Let's just do the two lower ones. Yeah, okay. Now I need space. I think I've got enough space. Oh yeah, I've got more than enough space actually. I'm gonna take these water bottles back, eat some stuff, throw out the broken scissors, and unnecessarily throw out the empty bottles. Hmm, there's another infected person down here. Uh, yeah, let's try to treat one more person. So it must be blood, and that's the one I have, right? Because of the fact that I mixed it with a... The fact that it's orange means it's a blood antibiotic. I believe how it works is that the organ you mix it with decides how effective it is as an antibiotic. So it'll lower infection more if it's a higher quality antibiotic, which comes from using the harder to get organs like the brain or the heart compared to the liver or blood, I think. And then I think the the color of the tincture that I use decides which type of antibiotic it's going to be. And whether the tincture is plus or not plus, I think only affects the brewing time. I think that's how it works. Yeah, it worked. Yeah, lower their infection, infection a lot. Oh, looks like they just calmed it down, too. Yeah, after I finish at the hospital, I, I should probably have a maxed out pest fund. And we should have something here. An infected brain can be brewed into an antibiotic. It weakens the disease, but does not kill it. It's no panacea. Interestingly enough, there's a little bubble connected to that. What is that? How do I get that? Just stopped at a pharmacy. Let's get all the antibiotics we can. And also they have a bandage and a tourniquet. Let's get both of those. Health is looking pretty good. Yeah, almost max. Oh, we got a bad boy over here. Oh, that's garbage loot. Oh, and then you just looted the body. Well, at least I got some stuff. Where did that mark? Oh, interesting. The town is calling me to Yara. Or, not Yara. Uh, Yon, Eva Yon. That can't be a cache. I don't remember if I did that in my last playthrough. That's very intriguing. Got another fist fight here.
Don't? Don't what? Don't do this? Boop. Ooh, pocket watch. That's worth the most by far. And... I don't know. Let's drop that. Take that. So I can drink it. And then... Uh, oh. Calling me there. To George's place. Hard to spot my organ. It just, like, disappeared. Hmm. Nara's at my place. I've decided that I won't bother you anymore. Where's the bull? Behara. He went into the steppe. He said he'll be back. He said? Wait, today? Don't worry, Horhen. Your Buha will return. Unlike me. Good? Sounds like a shitty thing to say, but I didn't like the other option either. What matters is, you got used to me. Now you won't be so scared when the time comes. It will be easier for you, so have no regrets. When what time comes? Are you sure you want to know? Honestly, not really. Before we asked them and had them tell us that we'll be killing them. But this time... No. Fair enough. Alright, we have a lot to do here. Um, oh, I can't upgrade my inventory yet, right? I still need the repellent cloak. Hey, Murky. I didn't do it. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Your place is all dirty. Why don't you tidy it up, then? Shouldn't be too hard. I don't have time. Too busy. Me too, little one. I got a new friend. A talking friend. Uh, yeah. It sure does talk, doesn't it? The plague. The sand pest. Really? A talking one? She's a secret friend. I don't know why, but she doesn't like you at all. I know why. Just like you, huh? Why should I like you? I like my new friend now. My talking friend. Why doesn't your friend like me, Murky? She says it's because you're a doctor. She doesn't like that. Uh. Hmm. I should have been an ice cream salesman. Some friend of Murky's dislikes me. <sighs> okay, let's let's do some stuff, shall we? Sticky, Hugo what do we have to... So happy. Must have come from the hospital. Hmm, is this the whole, um, distract the store owner thing? A little business proposition today, tell me more. Oh, no, no. This is the hiding stiffs thing. The townsfolk are afraid to surrender their dead. How do you even hide a corpse? Uh, anyway, people need to hide corpses. Stench becomes an issue quick. It's the smell that gives them away. Can't put them in the icebox, after all. What's the job? So, there's a chemist in the atrium. He whipped up some sort of concoction that prevents decay. Gathered some guys, around 50, maybe more. Now they go around at night and embalm stiffs. What chemist? Hell if I know. Haven't met him yet. But it's not like there are ten different pharmacies in the atrium, anyway. Now what's the job? Working with dead bodies? Yep. Plenty of guys willing to do anything for quick coin these days. Me included. They hinted they wanted me to recruit you, too. Inconspicuously. That's... Well, there's more I'd say if you were older, but that's just slow suicide. Why? They're embalmed and everything. Oh no, they actually didn't say embalmed, they, say, they said impalmed. Which I don't think is a spelling mistake, it's probably just sticky, not... No one in all these terms. Where's this madness taking place? All around town. They work at night, quietly. Nobody will catch him in the act. As if I don't have enough on my plate already. So what are you going to do? Hmm. I'm gonna 
have a little chat with that chemist of yours. Go ahead and accept the offer because I'm going to need a witness after this. Right. Um, God, my hunger is so low. I was thinking, oh, I can eat some stuff, free up some space. Nah. I don't think I can eat anything I have without it being a waste. So let's just store everything away. That is such a beautiful amount of meat. That is beautiful meat. Mm, what do I need to repair this to the next level? Actually, I just need that box and then we're good. Boop. Sweet. I just need another toolbox and I can do it again. I should probably max that thing out. Given the amount of money I have, a toolbox is actually pretty cheap. Let's take out what I've made. This is made from infected blood, infected heart. I think the other one was infected brain. Heart, so yeah, liver. Wait. Actually, I'm not sure which one I'm missing then. Or maybe... Maybe I'm missing both? I think I'm missing both the kidney and the liver. Anyway, um... Let's get some going. Hmm... Zir... Or Yas. See, the thing is, I'm missing brown. So Medril might be the easiest thing to make. Because I don't have that much brown. Twire. Yeah. And Medril can be made with blood and black, I believe. Yeah, blood and black makes it. So I should probably just make more Medril and use that to make my antibiotics. Infected kidney. Plus Medril. Infected liver plus medrol. And then I think I have a healthy organ in here. Yeah, normal kidney. Let's get that going too. Yeah, brew time on the antibiotics are about two hours right now, which is going to be a while. But I want to make sure I get everything brewed today. I really want to launch ahead on my panacea. In the hopes of, well, saving people but uh, especially saving Reuben. Yeah, this knife totally broke. Oh, I got some more grindstones in here. There we go. Oh yeah. Get these boots fixed. Nice. I only have one thimble left. Do I have any in here? I don't. Oh, I do have a bandage in here. That's good to know. Do I have any schmouter? I don't. Right, I've used it all. I should probably take my leash with me and get the schmouter from the nutshell. I need to buy more thimbles. Right, while those are brewing, I want to go do the bowl thing, because I think that might be tied in with the brewing, actually. Because I think that might be tied in with panacea-related ingredients. Because I am going to dissect the bull this time. Last time, I didn't. So let's go do that. I also want to do something else out here. I want to fix the water bottle filler-upper. A.K.A. the pump. This one that's right by my place. just up here, huh? Yeah. Oh, I also have a pocket watch on me that I want to sell. And, oh, I can talk with you. Have you heard, Doctor? People have completely lost faith in you. We've taken up the good fight ourselves, with fire. Oh, this conversation. It's not about faith. If you crave violence, you'll find any excuse. Blah, blah, blah. We stole your microbes to save you, assholes. Anyway, you want to trade? Red thread. No, oh, nothing to trade for that. We also want to find a good cloak. Let's go check up here. So that I can upgrade my inventory. Please have a nice cloak. You don't. Alright, well I can at least sell my pocket watch here. 
Actually, no, I can't. You have almost no money. I must have sold stuff to you a while ago. Uh, in that case, you have nothing I want. Oh, I found a kid that has Schmouter. You probably have the stuff to get it, too. I have a lot of trading items. Walnuts. Marbles. Chalk. Beetles. Chestnut. Peanuts. Yes. Ha. <sighs> It is so worth it to save your items that you trade with kids with for schmouters. And here is the bowl. Very interesting looking bowl. It's pretty. Can I talk to any one of you? Nope, just you. You found us, Yargachin. We're happy to have you here. We look for a butcher. A butcher to help us restore order. To complete the rank. What are you celebrating, children of mine? Behold this perfect body. It must be properly divided. So, a right. I thought such traditions were long forgotten. Did you revive it because of the plague? The outbreak is only one misfortune. We do this for other reasons. The bowl is like the world. A Yargachin cuts the bull along the lines, and the world comes to order. The bull is pleased. We are pleased. You are pleased. Fine. I know the lines. I'll cut the bull. Look. He says farewell to the town. The town says farewell. While he walks the street, the town grows into him, binds him with love. When it is done, he will return to the place of blood. The Roggy Barrow. We will wait for the Butcher there. Roggy Barrow. Uh, I'll come soon? Where is that? The bull will be sacrificed at the Roggy Barrow in the evening. I think six is the right time. Is it, I guess it's not marked yet, because it's not the evening. The place of blood. Well, it's got to be somewhere out here, so... Actually, it got it. It could even be there. It probably is there. All the way at Shehen. But I'm thinking either there or here. I know there's like a sacrificial altar looking thing here. But I think you'd have a bit of trouble getting a bowl up on a sacrificial altar. This seems more plausible. It's a crack in the ground. Oh, I'm so intrigued. We got a bad dude here. Let's give him a good punching. Oh, who'd you just see? Actually, that makes it easier. A lot safer for me. Whoa. No, they looted the body instantly, you fucks. Oh well, at least I didn't get hurt or use up a knife or anything. Ooh, we got one with a knife here. Calm down. I'm gonna wait for the other person to walk away so I have a chance to loot him. Yes! Oh, it's pretty shitty loot. Yeah, go loot the body, buddy. Nothing there. Clara, or the changeling, just being a creep here. Which one are you? Clara. On eight paws he would linger, on his tail was a stinger. Wait. Strike if you will, but hear me. I came to entrust the lives of my new parents to you. Ah, right. They want me to check in on the Sabarovs. There was some gullible enough to adopt you? There was. <laughs> I pity them. Something's wrong with their house. Fine, who are they? Good fit for each other. I'll do it. Another clothes store. Please have a good cloak? Yes! Hell yeah! And it's not even going to take up inventory space because I'm going to be wearing it. Also, I'm definitely going to buy any thimbles and red thread I can find. Repellent cloak. Um, yeah, that should do. 
And I could sell this pocket watch for fourteen forty, and then I'm barely spending anything. No, don't sell that. Let's do our duties at the hospital now. I forgot what today's duties are. 